set this up as this is the early stage experience gap. Because I will contend if we just do a thought experiment, it would be wonderful, wonderful, to have every one of you be able to tap in to experience that's relevant to your field. So I'm going to propose today a set of hypotheses on how we might perhaps do something that's never been done before. Okay, I'm going to go now. Uh, <laughs> so let me remind you, venture company fund, uh, funded companies have boards, early stage companies often do not, right? You might have some investors, you might have some angels, you might have coffee with them. And not only that, that's just Silicon Valley. For all the people in the simulcast who are rolling their eyes going, listen, experienced advice is sparse you know, outside of technology clusters. In fact, the barista has more experience in our area where we are in you know, Brazil or Australia than like any of our investors here. All possible. So it's even worse. Because advice tends to be limited to technology clusters. Physical advice. And just because even though you know, planes are around, etc., the overhead of getting on a plane and traveling to give advice still means that people tend to leave their homes and come to technology clusters like Silicon Valley to get advice and get funding. Let me just remind you, by the way, assume you were large enough, successful enough to raise venture capital money. You have something called a board meeting. I just want to remind everybody, why have a board meeting? Now, from the investor's point of view, it's their fiduciary responsibility, meaning they're kind of like legally responsible <coughs> to their investors to make sure they were checking up on what you guys are doing. Because when you start a company, there's now kind of an asymmetric information flow. <coughs> you have more data than they do. Two is, they want to maximize their investment potential. They believe they do have asymmetric knowledge in the other direction, they believe they're all geniuses. Now, the good news is, some of them really are pretty good. And a good board will ask you hard questions, even if they aren't the smartest people in the world, they've just seen this damn stuff. And they will ask you tough questions. Interesting thing to ask is, why have a board meeting if you're a founder? I could leave this slide blank, and that should probably be your answer. Uh, but in reality, Again, if you have a great board, and they do exist, you could get a ton of advice, and you could get multiple opinions. The other thing is board members bring great networks, corporate partnerships, recruiting, additional finance, and it's an obligation, right? It kind of came with a check. And if